Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Tosh Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. So I want to welcome Mr. Steve, the Thunder Beast Cazola, to the show. Man, he's one of uh, one of Illinois' finest, and uh, I want to know what he's up to because I haven't spoke to him in a while. What is going on, Steve? Uh, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure to be on. Thank you for, so much for having me on again. And uh, just putting in work, man. You know, obviously I'm enjoying myself as a father. I'm enjoying myself as a husband, which are my two main priorities. Love that. But otherwise, uh, working, uh, which is great, teaching martial arts. I love teaching martial arts and training, getting ready for hopefully an upcoming fight soon. Awesome. Now, are you currently signed with a, a new promotion? Uh, no. So Bellator did um, technically release me, but, you know, we're still kind of talking to them to see because uh, I still technically have a fight on my contract uh, with them. Mm. Um, we're trying to see if we can still work out uh, a means where I can uh, fight for them. They have another fight at Pachanga Casino, June 29th, Bellator uh, 201. I would love to get on that it's in my home. You know, it's where I uh, really close to where I live. I can sell a bunch of tickets. I can, you know, get a bunch of family to go there. So I'm really hoping to get one more shot uh, at Bellator before perhaps having to move on to a new organization. I love Bellator a lot. I've had, you know, obviously uh, my past two fights have been really hard, but I've also had previous, you know, really good success with them. So I'm really hoping they'll give me one more shot to go in there, prove myself, and I can really uh, – go in there get a you know amazing finish and continue to uh, work for them for sure i i think that uh i think that you will get another shot with them man and uh i was hoping that you were going to be on the chicago card that they have here you know the big 198 card oh but. man i, w- I would have loved to man i really would you know but and if my last performance would have gone well maybe that would have been the case but i mean they have lots of studs coming in the bellator now man mm-hmm. i mean there's just so many guys that are coming in a lot of great names that have great following get a lot of good views and everything like that so you know i totally understand it from their side their business perspective i would have loved to come and fight home again my last time fighting at home was absolutely amazing fighting at all state arena i mean the welcome was just phenomenal i i absolutely loved fighting at home i really wanted to get on that chicago card again but you know it's not going to happen this time that's okay that being said i'm still ready though if they called me right now and said hey we got to fight i would i would fly home and you know be there to fight at 155 and you know no problem but you know it doesn't look like that's going to happen as of right now so i'm just staying ready and uh, I'm hoping to get one more shot uh, at Bellator. That's awesome. And uh, as I said, man, uh, I, I think that you definitely will. And in your performance at 175, I was there, of course. And I think that was, uh, w- when I think back on that night, that was one of my highlights, just the way that you absolutely ran through Jake Roberts. Yeah, I, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. But, you know, now having, you know, a fight, my, my last fight, I, you know, I got caught. I was doing really well against uh, Jake Smith at mm-hmm. Pachanga. And, uh, you know, I got caught. So and and so it kind of just, you know, it keeps everything in perspective. I mean, 175, you know, Bellator 175 in Chicago, you know, was such an amazing moment, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I was living up that high moment of just being there for my family. But, you know, this amazing perspective hit me when you know, I had these past couple losses that I feel like I really know the game much, much more from that hard side, from that devastating aspect of it, because that is a huge part of the sport. You know, it's awesome when you're winning, you're undefeated, you're getting knockouts, you're having these big wins. Man, you're just you're just living the high life. I mean, it's just up, up, up and up. And, you know, you're feeling amazing. But with these last two, you know, the last one being in uh, Southern California, where, you know, where I live at now and having a lot of friends and family there, you know, see you lose and see you lose and, you know, getting finished and getting knocked down under a minute. It's just like it's so heartbreaking. But then when I think back to like, you know, my time at 175, I was like, hey, that was my big moment. So sometimes you're the hammer. Sometimes you're in the nail, but the point is to keep fighting a good fight and keep uh, improving. And I'm not going to stop, man. I have a good team. I have good people, great support. And, uh, you know, win, lose, I'm going to always show up there in shape, on weight, ready to go, and uh, to put on the best show I can for the fans. For sure, man. And uh, I, I know that you will be back. You know, honestly, man, I was kind of surprised, to be to be frank with you, because you were undefeated 
and then you ran into Carrington Banks and uh, Jake Smith. Both of those guys are legitimate fighters. It's not like you know. It's not like you lost to guys that just came out of nowhere. Those are the first losses of your career. This is the 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 only time you've ever had the first time I should say you suffered adversity in your professional career. I was very surprised to see Bellator let you go because I, I honestly think you are one of the most talented guys in that division. And that it, there's a lot of killers in that division, as you said. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, again, appreciate you saying that. And I agree. I really think I am. I just, these past two, I just didn't have, I didn't have my opportunities or I didn't take advantage of my opportunities to, you know, to show that. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm just like, you know, I'm like trying to get my fans, you know, to sort of, you know, show some support. Like, Hey, get me on this Bellator 201 card. Let me, you know, get some redemption, go, go back to Pachanga win, and then get me back, you know, back in Chicago, give me another big fight, you know, back home. So I'm really hoping that uh, my manager, Tiki, and I are able to uh, persuade Bellator to get me back for one more, you know, for that one last fight. I'll go in there, show up, put on an amazing performance, and hopefully head back to Chicago soon and, you know, show the fans what's going on over there. Awesome. Well put, man. And uh, before I let you go, one of the guys you're a big fan of, Dylan Dennis, actually bailed Connor out. And I, I just couldn't help but to think of uh, <laughs> your, your comments at, at 175 again towards Dennis. That was, you know, the first time he ever uh, was at a Bellator event. And, uh, boy, you let him have it. And, and I really hope we get to see that fight sometime down the line. I would love to, man. I'll fight that dude anyway. I don't care. You know, I just want to go in there and show off my skills. And, uh, you know, we'll see what Danon has. You know, he's all, I mean, obviously he's known for his jiu-jitsu. He's been training at Straight Blast in Ireland and Connor, his buddy, and all this other, you know, stuff, whatever. I want to see how he is as a fighter and how he reacts to getting hit in the mouth. So if that opportunity comes, I would snatch on it any way, anytime, anywhere. Let's go, champ. <laughs> well, I appreciate your time, Steve. Is there anything else that you would like to add? The floor is yours. Uh, well, just thank you to uh, you know my coaches and my teammates, you know Tiki Ghost and my manager and coach, Huntington Beach Ultimate Training Center, um, all my teammates at Team Quest, all my teammates at 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, thank you all my sponsors, Clinch Gear, Monster Energy Drink, Pure Slabs, Focus Environmental, Quality Environmental. Uh, you know, if it, is, if it wasn't for all these amazing sponsors, I wouldn't be able to live my dream life that I do, you know, help support my family. Um, it, it's huge, man. So nothing but love and respect for all my sponsors, my coaches, my teammates, all of them. Uh, you know, I'm just I, I just try to be the best I can be to represent all of them. Well, so uh, thank you. Thank you so much to them. All right. So real quick before uh, before I let you go, we, we kind of have a tradition here. If you could, uh, if you could, could you just say this is Steve Cazola and you're listening to the Did You See That Shit podcast? Yes, this is Steve Cazola, and you're listening to Did You See That Shit Podcast. I appreciate it so much, brother. All right, man. Thank you so much. <laughs>